So I sent out my taco survey and the orders are starting to come in. We're going to talk in this video about viewing the data that your form has collected. Your form has two primary tabs. We've been working in the question tab for quite a while. We're going to flip over to the response tab now. This is where we will see a summary of the eight responses that I have uh, received so far. So each question is listed out and then the responses that have been received. Now Google Forms will automatically generate graphs and charts based on the data that you've collected. You aren't able to customize these graphs. It, Google creates them based on the question uh, that you ask. So if you had to do a multiple choice question, you're going to get a pie chart. If you do the Likert scale um, question, you're going to get these bar graphs. Um, this is our order table, and you can see all the different options again in the by, um, bar graph form. This is a super easy way to view your data. You don't have to do anything at all. It automatically generates this view. Now, if you would prefer to see the individual responses, you can do that. We're going to click on individual, and this will actually show me the entire form that this person filled out. So I can see specifically what that person uh, selected. That is option one. The second way to view your form data is in a Google spreadsheet. Every time someone submits a form, that data is entered into a new row in a spreadsheet. You can access that spreadsheet by clicking on the green square on the right side of the response tab. That will open up the spreadsheet linked to your form. All of the raw data is listed in this form. Now, it's not as easy to read this data in spreadsheet format. However, because it's in a spreadsheet, we have an infinite number of ways that we can use this information. One of the simple ways to do it would be to create a filter. I'm going to go up here to the top and click the filter icon, and I am able to select any column in my survey and say, for example, I only want to see the responses from the people who um, really like tacos a lot. So I'm going to clear all of these except for people who said five, and that will hide everyone except the, the people who have said five. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that filter off. Now, if I look at my um, survey results, my taco satisfaction survey um, in the form, you'll notice that um, we have pretty good reviews on everything except speed of delivery. That did not go so well. So I want to get some more information on that. So in my survey, I can go to our satisfaction survey and filter that to the people who said um, one terrible. And that will uh, limit my results to the people who are dissatisfied with our delivery service. And I can follow up with them, for example. That's just a simple way that you can use um, Google Sheets to manipulate your data. You can also create your own custom charts and graphs. Or you could use a tool like Autocrat to take the data in this spreadsheet and create a document, and an order form, or something like that. Google Forms makes it easy to collect data but the real work begins once you have that data, trying to understand what it means and using that data in helpful ways.